Hello world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blogs right now is to talk about what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum, to uh, shedding light uh, towards others that are uh, living on the spectrum just like me, and, you know, and how they can tackle issues that are coming from a neurotypical that is being a pain in the butt. Uh, let's see, what would be a good example of that? I don't know, let's say that they have tr they, uh, they're making all kinds of assumptions about us or they're saying things in a condescending, ma condescending manner or they're not being as understanding as we want. And I also like to um, educate that neurotypical that is being a pain in the butt so that they uh, will be able to take this information and pass it on to others that are interested in learning more about autism that don't, don't know very much at all to talking to uh, talking to others that um, that are acting like a bunch of know-it-alls because they've uh, read all of these different articles about autism so they think they're ex they're experts when they're really 100% wrong even though they think they've read all kinds of articles and talked to these top, top experts um, that are giving off a bunch of psychobabble and are really uh, only interested in talking about autism because they want attention and they, uh, they're they good at making money. Uh, I eventually would like to uh, take my um, take my blogs and turn it into a mini Good Morning America series for the geek world um, instead of listening to Friday uh, afternoon concerts in Times Square uh, with Madonna or or the Backstreet Boys, or Miley Cyrus, or to Katy Perry. I'd be more interested in doing um, a live panel with William Shatner, and Leonard Nimoy, and Stan Lee, and also even doing some uh, some live panels uh, at Dragon Con Space Track, where they talk about the latest missions. And I would also like to sit down and have an interview with some of our university's top scientists at Georgia State and Georgia Tech and um, not just talk about the latest findings that are out there but talk about the different research product projects and see how much you know uh, what it takes to do research versus what the media puts out there and how everything's um, instantaneous and presto presto and pronto but right now I would like to talk about uh, my experiences of living with autism and what better way to do that than um, looking for a job. Um, now, when I was um, younger, and like most of you, um, I yeah, have always struggled with a form of communication. And one of the areas that I've struggled with a form of communication would be um, job interviewing. And uh, there's just, there's so many unwritten rules in our society, and an interview can be one place to do that. Uh, for, for instance, when I was younger, someone would would ask me, "Well, what interests you in our job in in a position with us?" And I would make comments like, uh, "I would really like to work for your company, mainly because I'm going to be going to school next month, and mainly because I'm going to be renting an apartment at uh, on X Y Z Street." And uh, that in itself, uh, I learned very quickly, is a big no no. And another area that I've always struggled with and I'm recently finding out is uh, you have to ask questions and you can't ask any old question either. It turns out that you have to, uh, you have to do research into the company that you're working for and you, ha you can make common, you can say things like, well, what kind of people are you looking for and what kind of skills? And uh, for instance, uh, I recently applied at a legal firm and I, uh, they're, they're willing to train a, uh, somebody to become a legal assistant without a degree. And they said, and uh, one of the questions that you can ask is, well, what type of technique of training are you going to use? And how many hours do you expect to do with this training? Uh, let's see. And uh, another thing that I'm probably unaware of is I'm doing my best to look at the other person and maybe they, Maybe they're, you know, uh, they're, they're looking at me and they're thinking, well, I'm a cold person and um, I'm not really looking. And now, another thing I like to do during the interviews is tell them that I have Asperger's syndrome and I'm still trying to figure out if that's appropriate or not. I don't, I mean, there's just, 
the situation to me is um, is very catch-22 because I, as I mentioned before, I had applied as a I had applied as a uh, party planner at a kids salon uh, down by the airport here in Atlanta, and uh, right, you know, right away the lady on the other end became really unprofessional and started asking me all kinds of inappropriate questions. Um, and again, the conversation also went one-sided, uh, which is one of the things that people on the spectrum don't seem to get. Now. Another area that is really bothering me is, and I, and I don't mean to put anybody down, I'm noticing that if you have a disability or anything, um, they're, they're constantly telling me that, well, if you, have, if you have trouble looking, they assume that if I'm having trouble looking for a job, I should be with this organization or that organization because I have Asperger's syndrome. Just because I have Asperger's syndrome and again not to put them down um, I honestly don't think that that these work programs are the absolute answer to everything I mean yes they they can be helpful depending on who works there but just about every single place that I've gone to they just they've seemed to be a place to babysit I don't see them teaching any new skills they're just uh, they're not teaching us how to interview they're not teaching us teaching us new job skills, nothing. Instead, you know, I mean, they take us on the job interviews, but it's like they're holding our hands, holding our hands during the interviews, and they're there, they're there sitting in the interviews the entire time. And uh, when they do take us to jobs, they're usually, um, they're usually jobs where you're mopping the floor and, uh, and sweeping. And, and while I'm not going to uh, accredit every single autistic as a little genius, I think we're capable of a whole lot more, and that is an area too that I'm struggling with. And I'm constant, I'm I'm constantly trying to break through this barrier that I'm too autistic to have a job, or, or uh, too autistic to pass a job interview. And I don't want that on my shoulders. I want to pass a job interview just like everybody else, even though um, I want to remain different to some extent. Um, I would like to pass a job interview like everyone else because I believe I have an opportunity. You know, I don't want I don't want any special modifications, and I don't want a job coach over my looking over my shoulder every time I look around. And I don't want to be a janitor the rest of my life. The point is, I want a career just like the rest of you. So, until next time, I'm Maya Sunderman, and I'm signing off now. Bye.